Nano Banana, a name that's been causing quite a stir lately, and rightly so. At first, no one knew who was behind the alias. Today we do. It's Google, using the Gemini 2.5 flash model. And then there were those stunning image results, especially in the field of image editing. After my brief look at Nano Banana in a previous video, I decided to go all in this time and take a much closer look at its editing features. What I found didn't just impress me, it raised the bar for consistency across the board. Since many of you are probably most curious about how to create consistent characters, let's start right there. Next up, we'll explore how to combine different objects into one coherent image. And of course, no tutorial would be complete without a test series. You'll see 23 individual images, each one different, yet all connected. Thanks to Nano Banana's unique image editing feature, they form a single visual storyline. Now, who hasn't struggled trying to bring their own face into new images using Midjourney's Omni Reference or one of those face swap tools? I've tried just about everything and failed just as often. Nano Banana makes it so much easier. A precise prompt, one click, and you've got something remarkably close to perfect. You probably know the image I'm using me wearing an orange sweater, arms crossed. That's the source photo. Pay close attention to the expression and pose. That's what I want to carry over. The background, the outfit, the lighting. Those are the variables I want to change. I ran a lot of tests, and at first the results were still fairly inconsistent. So, no, it doesn't just work out of the box. You need the right tool for the job. In this case, the trick was prompt refinement. Think of it like this. There's a first part. Let's call it the individual section. That's where you describe the theme, the role, and the setting. And then there's a second part, the mandatory section, which locks in the look, framing and integration. This combination is what makes those seamless transitions possible, as you'll see in the examples. The first part of the prompt might say, replace the background with a photorealistic desert scene. The person should wear a spacesuit that defines the scenario, astronaut, sailor or anything else you imagine. Then comes the mandatory part, and it always stays the same, right at the end of your prompt. Maintain the same framing, size and body position as in the original image. Keep the overall background slightly darker so the atmosphere feels grand and cinematic. You'll find the full prompt in the video description, no need to write it down. That's how all of these images became possible. Me as a pirate among fellow buccaneers, as an ambassador on a desert planet, as a Viking, as a king during the time of the Maya, as a First Nation chief with a striking feather crown, as a soldier in the American Civil War, as a jungle fighter straight out of platoon, as a senator in the Roman Empire, as a DJ in 1950s Jamaica, as a futuristic guy in neon clothing, as a goofy figure wearing a potato sack and a yellow bucket, as someone wrapped in a jacket made of lava, as a journalist dressed in recycled newspaper, as a post-impressionist painting in a Dutch harbour, as an illustration in the style of arcane, or as an archer in the worlds of Warcraft and Middle Earth. Each result is stylistically unique, and yet unmistakably me. At one point I even let ChatGPT generate its own costume ideas, and it came up with some surprisingly fun looks, like the neon outfit you've already seen, or a full body suit made of light bulbs. And yes, those work too. Unfortunately, all images still share one limitation. At the time of this recording, the resolution. 1,344 by 768 pixels at 96 dots per inch. If you want higher quality, you'll need an upscaler, but that may alter the facial features you work so hard to keep. Next, I wanted to see if Nano Banana can handle objects just as well. So I picked four. One. An infantry soldier from the American Civil War. Two, a single bright yellow rubber boot. Three, a pink handbag. Four, and a Norwegian flag. The prompt went like this. Combine the four reference images to create a single coherent scene that depicts a moment from a Norwegian Antarctic expedition in 1911. The man wears the yellow boots and carries both the Norwegian flag 
and the pink bag. And that's exactly what came out. Now, if you're wondering, yes. I used four different platforms to generate the image via Nano Banana. I'll explain more about that later. But you can already guess where things might get tricky. Pay close attention to the character. The base reference was a Civil War infantryman in dark uniform. Of course you don't have to stop there. Next step, change the hair and gesture. The prompt was short. Change the hair to long blonde hair. The person is showing a victory sign with their fingers. And surprise, suddenly the man has long blonde hair. The peace sign is there too, though in the bottom right image it's missing. Which is actually fine because... Let's be honest, it's pretty hard to flash a peace sign when one hand's holding the bag and the other's gripping the flag. What stands out, though, is that the objects tend to shift. Even though I included a very clear instruction, Nano Banana still decided to reinterpret. Now that we've covered characters and objects, let's shift the focus to the platforms where you can currently use Nano Banana. Some are free, some are paid. You might be wondering, why compare platforms at all? Isn't it all Nano Banana? Yes, technically it is, but the results can vary wildly, sometimes in ways that really caught me off guard. Is that just random? Possibly. But over time I've noticed a pattern. Some platforms interpret prompts in ways that clearly don't align with what I wrote, or intended. I'll show you how to use each of these platforms later in the video. For this test series, I used Google Gemini. Google AI Studio, LM Arena, and FAL AI. My starting point was an image created in Midjourney, a rear view shot of an officer standing with his soldiers. When I prompted, show this scene from a drone perspective, looking down at an angle from behind and above, the results were mixed. Five out of six images were still more or less okay, but only one really nailed it. Then I pushed it further. Same image, new prompt. Show this scene from the perspective of an airplane at high altitude with a camera looking directly down. This time, the differences were even clearer. Google Gemini, Google AI Studio, and OpenArt drifted off completely. LM Arena and Recraft came somewhat close, but only FAL AI stayed on course. Comparing Test 1 and Test 2, FAL AI once again delivered the most stable transformation. Coincidence? Or just a better tuned model? I honestly don't know. But even though it cost me money, 3.9 cents per image, I used FAL AI for the rest of the tests because for me, consistency matters more than a free ride. Let's go back to the starting image, a photo from 1862, an officer with his soldiers. From this original, I'm now telling a visual story, just through images, to show what Gemini 2.5 Flash, aka Nano Banana, can do. We begin by adding a drone. It shifts the camera upward and reveals the terrain in front of the soldiers. But now we want to know, who is this officer, bravely leading his men through the ruins? Rotate the camera to focus on a close-up, gives us the answer. But wait, something's missing. The Stars and Stripes banner. With add a large weathered American flag, that's easily fixed. Now we twist the story a bit and upload a futuristic MechCore robot into the scene. Turn on the floodlights, instant tension. With Transform the Scene into an Antarctic Expedition, we jump forward in time to 1911, specifically December 14th, 1911. The Fram Expedition, led by Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen, becomes the first to reach the South Pole. But why does the man in the scene look so surprised? Let's change the angle with Show the Same Scene from a Side View. A horse-drawn sled has just passed, but we still can't see what shocked him. So we rotate the camera again. Show the Arctic explorers from behind. And now it's revealed. A massive alien spaceship buried in the eternal ice. With change perspective, we send a drone into the air. Nothing but snow and storm. The expedition members document their discovery with three Arctic explorers opposing. And years later, this photo still exists, now with a historical look thanks to change the visual style of the image. We jump again to the 1950s. 
set the scene on a porch in front of a wooden house. The polar explorer, now an old man, is sitting on his porch in a rocking chair. You can see his age and the house behind him has clearly seen better days. But then something stands out. The man is reading a newspaper, The Chronicle, with a front page headline, They Made It, and a photo of the three Arctic explorers. Change the view of the camera, shifts the perspective. Now we're looking through the house window, over the old man's shoulder, and we see something incredible. He's brought a souvenir back from that alien spaceship and mounted it onto his pickup truck, a massive alien defence cannon. Of course he's proud of it. Who dare mess with a guy like that? The man stands next to his 1950s pickup truck, shows exactly that. It's almost as if he's been waiting for this moment. With, the man is sitting inside his old 1950s pickup truck, the wild ride begins once more. But wait, the outfit doesn't fit. Let's try a black suit and black sunglasses. Change the man's clothing does the trick. Full speed down a rural highway, driving into the sun. A simple life, on the road. Driving the 1950s pickup truck on a highway sets the scene. And if you're up for more, let's turn it up a notch. Transform the visual style to GTA gives us this one. Transform the visual style to cyberpunk gives us that one. Things get more dynamic now. Dust, atmosphere, vehicle, all coming to life. Then with transform into a photorealistic image, the illustration turns into something real. Now we go even further. Replace the vehicle with an alien fighter spaceship. The pickup truck becomes a futuristic ship still carrying the cannon. And finally, the hull is coated in a matte yellow finish, turns it into a modern space glider. But, plot twist, it was all just a video game. A teenager sits in a cluttered bedroom from the 1980s, sets the new stage. The teenager is fully immersed, steering the alien ship in the console game Canadian Postal Service. Two lives left. Wasn't that a wild ride? Nano Banana makes it possible. And if you're curious, in the next video I upload to YouTube, I'll turn this into a full mini film. Basically, a music video. So you'll get to see the entire story come alive. Let's take a closer look. What exactly can you edit with Nano Banana? After all, it's primarily an image editing tool. I've grouped it into 10 categories. Change scene. This lets you turn scene A into scene B. A forest into a desert, for example. Replace object. Swap a chair for a couch, a lamp for a cactus, anything you want. Add people. As the name suggests, you can list specific people or images, and Nano Banana will build a new image with all of them included. Change angle. One of my personal favourites. Shifting the camera angle isn't just innovative, it brings a whole new layer of creativity to the process. Create mock-up. Use it to place designs, logos or text on shirts, mugs, screens. Anything product related. Try fashion. Upload a few images of clothing and ask Nano Banana to show someone wearing all of it. Simple and surprisingly accurate. Transfer style. This works a bit like style reference or retexture in mid-journey. If you like a certain illustration style, just say, make it in this style. Extend image, a familiar one. Use it to expand your canvas. Though for more precise control, the mid-journey editor still has the edge. Restore image. Have an old black and white photo? You can enhance it and bring back the colour. It's very similar to the colorize neural filter in Adobe Photoshop. And finally, edit text. As the name says, you can modify existing text or add new one. But here's my take as a designer. This function still feels a bit random. If you want pixel-perfect results, say something that follows a corporate design guideline, I'd stick with Photoshop, InDesign, or Illustrator. Because with an image resolution of just 1,344 by 768 pixels, you're definitely not in print-ready territory. So how can you actually generate images with Nano Banana? The easiest option is LM Arena, currently still free. Just enter lmarena.ai into your browser. 
Then click Generate Images in the prompt bar. That tells the system you're interested in image creation only. Next, click Battle in the top center. In the drop down menu, select Direct Chat. The model Gemini 2.5 Flash, Nano Banana, should already be pre selected. If not, just click the arrow on the right and choose the model manually. Upload any image you want, describe the edit, and hit the arrow button to start the generation. Next up, Google Gemini. The 2.5 flash model should be pre-selected, but if not, open the drop-down in the top left and choose it. Then click the Tools icon and select Create Images. Again, upload your image, describe your change and hit the arrow to start. As of today, this version is free, though there may be time limits. If you prefer working in Google AI Studio, that's also possible. Click Try Nano Banana in your dashboard. This will highlight the Create button in yellow. Click the plus icon to upload your image. Enter your prompt and hit Run. On the right, you'll see a token counter. So yes, usage here is also free for now. Now let's look at five paid options. Personally, I use FAL AI. It gave me the most consistent results. The cost, 3.9 cents per image. Go to FAL AI. You'll need a Google or GitHub account to use the platform. Then click Explore in the top menu and search for Nano. You'll see the available models. Since we're editing, select Nano Banana Edit, image to image. Enter your prompt, upload one or more reference images, choose how many outputs you want, and click Run. In OpenArt, click Image in the center of the screen. From the drop down, select Chat to Edit. Make sure Nano Banana is set as the active model at the top. Upload your image on the right. Type your prompt in the chat below and the result will appear at the bottom. In Crea, click Edit in the lower left corner. Then select the model Nano Banana Edit in the same area and you're ready to go. There are also two other platforms offering Nano Banana, Recraft and Freepik. If you're using either of those, the same editing tool is available to you. Good luck exploring. Time for a quick conclusion. There's really not much more to say. Nano Banana is just an awesome tool. Its image creation function, which I've tested before, isn't necessarily better than on other platforms. But the image editor, that's the best I've ever seen. If you're not using it, you're definitely missing out. Make sure to choose the platform that suits you best. I tend to be cautious, especially when it comes to using images commercially that were created on free platforms. Personally, I prefer paid versions. I need the results not just for private fun, but for professional use. Still, that's your call. What really pays off is combining Nano Banana with a second image platform. My go-to is Midjourney, simply because the level of detail and visual depth is hard to beat across many different styles. If you prefer Leonardo, Flux, or something else, that works too. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.